In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up a no reply email in Google Workspace in just five minutes. Setting up a no reply email address can be a vital step for organizations that wish to send out automated messages without cluttering their inboxes with replies. Let's dive right in. First, we'll start by heading over to Google Workspace. Once you're there, you're going to want to locate and click on the admin console. To do this, make sure you're logged in using your business email account, as this ensures you have the necessary permissions to make these changes. Administrative tasks such as this one require the appropriate access levels, so make sure you've signed in correctly. Once inside the admin console, direct your attention to the Google Apps menu located on the top right corner of your screen. It's this grid-like icon that allows you to easily access the various Google services linked to your account. Click on it, and from the array of apps displayed, find and click on the admin icon. Now, we're ready to move on. Click on apps, which will reveal the various applications you can manage within your Google Workspace account. From here, tap on Google Workspace. Within this section, you'll see a list of services associated with your account, including Gmail, which is essential for setting up our no reply email. With Gmail selected, the next step is to find and click on routing. This is where you'll get to define rules and settings regarding how email should be handled within your organization. In this case, we're focusing on setting parameters for our no reply email address. Now click configure. This will bring up more specific email routing options. Go ahead and choose inbound to specify parameters for incoming messages. Here, we're essentially dictating what should happen to emails sent to addresses within our domain. Next, you'll need to select modify message. This option allows us to apply specific rules and actions to these messages. Since the idea of a no reply email is that we don't want to engage with responses, we want to set things so that replies to this email can be automatically discarded or replied to with a specific message. Finally, click on reject message. With this action set, it ensures that any attempts to send messages to the no reply email address are rejected and not delivered, thus maintaining the purpose of the no reply function. Once you've reviewed all the settings, it's crucial to click save to apply all the changes we've made. And there you have it. A no reply email account is set up and ready to be utilized, ensuring communication remains streamlined and efficient within your organization. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more helpful guides like this one.